So how do you get more out of your learning? Do you sometimes feel like you're not making any progress or you're not even sure if you're getting any better at all? Well, sometimes you are actually getting better. It just doesn't translate to results right away. But if you're not getting any results, then how do you know if you're actually getting better? Well, that's where tracking progress comes in line. So to know at what skill level you're at, you have to measure it. Just like bodybuilders are measuring the amount of weights that they can lift, so do you have to keep track of the progress that you make. Now, in-game there are certain stats that you can keep track of, like CS, KDA or Vision Score, but I personally just like to keep track of my mistakes. Keeping track of your mistakes lets you know what you actively need to work on. This allows you to learn more focused and thus more efficient. It gives you an active goal on what you have to work on each game. And on top of that, if you keep track of it, you know whether you're making progress or not. So here's an example of my Excel sheet. Now, it might look a bit nerdy, like you're trying too hard for a video game, but that's what ranked really is. It's where you have to try hard. You can't expect to play casually and then be able to play at the best performance that you have. On top of that, if you're not trying your best to learn, other people will and those people you won't be able to beat. Now back to the Excel sheet. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. During my studies, I learned to ask myself three things. What went good? What went wrong? And what can I do better? Now you don't always have to answer all three because some games are just, you know, stumps or have no valuable knowledge in them. You just have to write down what's helpful to you because in the end, it's there to help you identify the mistakes and keep track of them. And that's really it, an uh, excel sheet or notepad just to scribble down things on. Keeping you aware of what you have to work on and just making those games a little less autopilot -y by giving you a goal that you have to actively work on. So that's it for now guys, I hope you liked this tip. Um, let me know in the comments what you do to improve your League of Legends gameplay. Subscribe if you like this sort of content and uh, I'll see you guys next time.